Okay, Shalom is real. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. Now, this is, uh, let's see. Colossians 3 and 12 Put on therefore as the elect Of God Holy and beloved Bowels of mercy Kindness Humbleness of mind Meekness Long suffering Forbearing one another And forgiving one another If any man have a quarrel against any Even as Yahweh shall forgive you So also do ye now, the elect of the Most High are also known as the Bride of the Most High, according to Revelations, I believe it's either 7 or Revelations 14. All right. And um, we know we can't make ourselves the elect, you know. But it's good to say, put on therefore as the elect, meaning do the things, you know, because we don't know if we're the elect or not, you know. But we know one thing's for sure. Is that the elect will be serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in these last days? The elect will be uh, a getting they, they they house in order in these last days. All right, so it says, put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any. Even as Yahweh shall forgive you, so also do ye. Okay? And um, to get a better understanding of that, I want to get Proverbs 31 and 10. You know, because in its truth, we all know it's what even the scriptures tell us. When you come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Okay? When you come to be a servant of the Lord, which what? A woman is, uh, is uh, a servant to her husband. All right? You're going to, hey, humble yourself until your husband, man. You know? So this is Proverbs 31 and 10. The heart of her. It's a, who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. So that he shall have no need to spoil you. And as I mentioned before, we are the brides of the Lord, man. You know, and um, even in the scripture, what the man will go out, you know what I'm saying? He will work, and a woman will what? Take care of the house, you know? And Yahweh Shai, he, he even told us prior to him leaving, I go to prepare a place for you. Um, He said, Watch. You know? So Yahweh Shai is out there working, and when he comes back for us, you know, when he comes back home, uh, he want to make it. He, Hey, he want to see the house clean You know what I'm saying He want to see uh, uh, You know uh, You know Food cooked for him He's want to come back And have his uh, he, he just want to come back To where everything's prepared for him man You know So We got to have it or We got to have ourselves So so that the Lord can safely trust in us man Alright So hey, he can come back He can come home Alright and um, hey, see that everything was taken care of. See that he had no, he he didn't have to worry. It says she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. All right, and that's why, hey, just keep, say how it is, man. You got the men of Great Millstone, the only ones that's really fighting. All right, for the proper uh, teaching of the Bible. That's doing the Lord good and not evil. All right, not adding nor taking away. All right, not teaching for filthy lucre's sake. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. That's another thing, man. Not doing it grudgingly, but doing it willingly, man. Loving to do this work. She is like the merchant ship. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. Okay, and hey, we got hey, we we could thank our apostles and elders who have been doing this, this uh, who have been pushing this truth when it wasn't even quote unquote popular, man. You know, they've been pushing steadily, 
when it, when his truth wasn't even a, a quote unquote popular. So it says, she riseth also while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household, and a portion to her maidens. You know, and you can also look at it to where it's now. You know, as the scripture said, it's hot time to wake up out of sleep. <laughs> All right, and the night time, what? Uh, uh, you know, uh, they say the freaks come out at night. You know. So we could look at it as as far as Esau is doing his wickedness, all right, and we're in the midst, all right, rising up, going out there, doing the work, uh, waking up the elect too. She considereth a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hand, with the fruit of her hands, she planteth a vineyard. All right, and the kingdom of heaven is is uh is known as um. Let me see, I think it's actually uh. A parable on that. Let's see. You know, because as Yahweh Shai said, man, go go out in the field. All right, and basically see who who's uh, you know, go out into the field, which the field is the world. And see, see, yeah, this is it. All right. So it says, For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. All right. So Yahweh Shai gave us his word, all right? And then he sent us out into the vineyard, man. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I, I will give you. And they went their way. Again, he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idle and said unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They said unto him, Because no man hath hired us. He said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. Alright, so basically meaning, go out into the vineyard. Let me see. just want to see what that word right means. Matthew 20. Okay, it says righteous, what's of is right, or which meaning righteous, observing divine laws in a wide sense, upright, right, righteous, virtuous. Okay, so we seeking out those that be like us, man. You know, us of the hopeful elect, man. Whatsoever has the, uh, as, as Yahweh shall also say, ye that have an ear to hear, let him hear. You know, which also goes to prove that not everybody's meant to be the Lord's woman, man. You know, not everybody uh, knows how to please the Lord. All right. So it says, so when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, call the laborers and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. Well, that was it. You know, but going into um, back in Proverbs, how it says she considered for vineyard. Basically meaning uh, going out on... on, on in the highways and byways, man. You know, going out, you know what I'm saying, um, in a cheap place to concourse. All right, to where if they see, okay, this place is ripe, you know, brothers are coming in. All right, you stay there, man. But the scriptures say if they receive you not, you know, shake the dust off your, shake off the dust too. You know, so it says, uh, yeah, man, so that vineyard is that right place. You know, where you see the elect, the elect, all right, is receiving the word. All right, and it's not in the hood, neither. They going to prove, prove that, all right, because how was y'all just said whatsoever is right. I'm trying to see what was that. Proverbs 31 and 16, she considereth a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands, she planteth a vineyard. All right, basically meaning she got out there and did the work. She girded her loins with strength 
and strengtheneth her arms. All right, the righteous are as bold as lions. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. All right, so she had a strong mind. She was she was of a willing heart. You know, she was ready and willing, and fervent in the work. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She stretcheth out her hands to the poor, yet she reacheth forth her hands to the needy. As Yahweh Shah told us in Matthew 10. Alright? You know, uh, uh, you know, heal the poor and the sick and the needy and the lame. Alright? Yet she stretcheth forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household. Alright? The snow basically meaning that tribulation. You know, for all her household. Are clothed with chariots. All right, because hey man, we we out there for the light. All right, like even in the world they say that the Marines, the few, the strong. That's the elect, man. All right, she maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates. Which what which what is our clothing? All right, let's actually grab that. What do we you know? Clothing ourselves and those in like manner with Revelation 16 and 15 Behold I come as a thief Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments Lest he walk naked and they see his shame Okay So basically uh, Your garments is what? This word, this truth Alright This is how you cover yourself man Alright This is how you conceal yourself uh, from being unsure uh, You know This word The word of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah It says she maketh herself Coverings of tapestry Her clothing is silk and purple You know and You think about that too It's like um your clothing is silk and purple being that uh that of you know that's like royal apparel you know and the scriptures say what wisdom maketh for man's face to shine you know so this word is, is, is that uh considered that apparel man you know that kingly uh uh you know uh royal apparel this word man her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land she maketh fine linen and selleth it and deliver girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. Okay, so we're going to rejoice, man. You know? Like the scriptures say, man. Uh, I'm going to just grab that, actually. Isaiah 65. And 13, therefore thus saith the Lord, behold, my servants shall eat. All right, going to prove. Um, uh, just keep reading, it's lucky. But ye shall be hungry, behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be a sing. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. All right, so going to also prove you know that we are um or the lord's servant is his, is also his woman man isaiah 49 and 15 jeremiah 6 and 2 you know just to pull a nail you know as you say put a nail in a coffin but this is uh reading on let me see what was that it says Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and then her tongue is the law of kindness. All right. Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. Okay. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. And that's why brothers always say, this guy, this, 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 this word has to be a 24-7 thing. It's something that you always think about, man. You know, not just, you know, going out there on the highways and hedges and, you know, when you do videos, not to look like something, but actually 
always working, man. You know, this is a, a woman, you know, whom her husband, which as I said, we're the Lord's woman. So this is someone that the Lord could uh, uh, be proud of, man, that the Lord would want to keep around. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he prays it for her, you know. And when is the Lord going to praise us? All right. So actually, we could grab that. Um, you know, because that's what we want, man. We want the Lord to praise us, man, in that day. You know, and what's the ultimate way the Lord is going to praise us? So this is uh, 2 Ezra 2. In 42, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man high, of high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns. You know, he gave, that was a praise that the Lord is going to give us, man. And was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. Yeah, I was shy. He was more exalted. So I asked the angel, which is Ezra's talking to Uriel, and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of God. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Then said I unto the angel, what young person is, is is it that crown them and giveth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God whom they have confessed in the world. Alright? It is the Son of God whom they have confessed in the world. Alright? We told the world openly about our husband, man. Alright? You know, we compelled them to come into the marriage, man. All right, which is the world is going into the world to Israel. All right, Israel, you so-called black, Spanish, and Native Americans. Then begin I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh. All right, you know, never was idle, but always, always uh, remain faithful and true. All right, never went after other, uh, every wind of doctrine, never went after, uh, never committed adultery, even the even though the husband was going for a little bit, they still they still stay faithful to him. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy God thou hast seen. All right. So that, you know, like Akim did a, a video the other day called um, Homecoming. You know, and the spirit is moving, man. You know, and it's going to be a beautiful day. All right. When the Lord, you know. Which Lord willing, we beat them men, we continue, and the Lord praises us. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou ex excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. You know, so just some quick I want to, uh, you know, just hey, give to Akin. You know, as far as, you know, when, when things get a little cloudy, catching hell, whatever. You know, this is a good chapter to read. You know, to remember your work. Remember your job and, and, and what, what you must do to be found worthy. As we should be, uh, as, as as the scripture I just uh, had started off with, put on, therefore, as the elect. You know, so with that, shalom to the elect.